Hi, everyone. It's JJ Lee here for the Shutter Goes Click. Uh, okay, it, I, I'm sorry for the MC Escher like confusion of a camera looking at another camera, but it's uh, intended to demonstrate an important uh, thing about webcams and an important thing about a hack I just did less than two hours ago. Uh, all throughout this pandemic, I thought that I had pretty much stopped photography. Indeed, I took two cameras with me to my summer vacation, um, where we always go in the summer. And I did shoot a few photographs, but not very many. But primarily since uh, lockdown in this time of COVID, uh, I've hardly uh, shot a frame uh, at all. Uh, and I was kind of regretting it and bemoaning the loss of uh, the photographic experience and hunting for old film cameras and buying them and training and meeting people who love cameras as much as I do. But then I realized all this time, throughout this entire year, I have been dealing with cameras all the time. Uh, webcams. I teach online. I hold meetings online. I do all my meetings online. I do all my business uh, meetings online now. And, uh, you know, I've been actually quite concerned about what my backgrounds look like. Uh, you know, should I have a ring light? I built myself a ring light. And I realized that I was very uh, involved in cameras still. And I started wondering about what hacks could I do with webcams since I'm spending so much time with them. And so uh, I, I indeed engaged in a hack. Manual focus webcams, not through a digital interface or a slider that appears, uh, you know, on the camera app in your Windows 10, like in my case. Uh, and I was able to pull it off. Now, uh, what we have in front of you, if I hope you can see both screens, is uh, in the inset screen, you see a, a Logitech C270. Uh, it, it's a 720p camera. Uh, and I don't know if you can tell uh, with a small image like this, but it's out of focus. It's out of focus because it's being captured by a Logitech uh, 9C920, which is a very good camera, HD camera, 1080p, as you can see, because the Logitech 270 is shooting the C920. The little gray guy, the guy that's out of focus, is actually shooting the expensive camera in focus. And that's what, and that, and the reason why is because I turned it into a manual focus. In fact, it can even go hyper, hyper macro. It can go to half an inch if you want it to. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I did this hack. The first thing I should say uh, before embarking on this hack is that I didn't uh, figure this out myself. I obviously looked online on YouTube uh, from a, uh, a YouTuber named Lloyd Metcalf. And, and so what I'm going to show you up to a certain point is entirely uh, from him. Uh, uh, but it's pretty interesting and I have some thoughts at the end uh, that may add to the conversation around why this hack and when you could actually use it. First of all, uh, you're gonna have a faceplate to deal with. The faceplate uh, has a little indent at the bottom underneath on the bottom side, which you can basically pretty much run a thumbnail into. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to, to uh, lift it uh, to the sides where there's a little catch on both the uh, left side and the right side of the faceplate. And you can pop that up quite easily and then you'll see a, 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 a top, a, a lid that still uh, holds and protects both the microphone, which you see on your right, and the lens, uh, which you see on your left. And there's only three screws, one on top, one on, on the bottom, and one to the right that you need to take apart. And then you get straight into the circuitry. And it's very simple. So what you see, once again, just to be clear, on the left, is the lens and you can see it's got a little like a sprocket or a, a, 
uh, a barrel, a lens barrel, which is was absolutely fascinating when I saw it. And then that the circular thing in the middle is actually the microphone, and then of course the rest of the circuitry into it. Now, uh, for it to work, what we really got to do is, and I'm, I flipped the camera over, the webcam over, is uh, we need to find the little bit of hot glue that is holding the lens barrel in place. So clearly what they do is they must have an optimal distance. It's probably around three feet, probably a yard. Uh, and what they do is they they set the lens uh, into the uh, in, in, into focus, and once it reaches that focus of, of I imagine it's got to be three feet because of its uh, what it's being used for as a webcam. At three feet, they drop a little bead of hot glue uh, to fix it in place, and that's it. It's fixed focus. There's unlike the C920, which was the camera I showed you, uh, there is no slider function. It does not uh, focus. It is a fixed focus camera. If you knock that little bit of glue off, uh, you basically get the manual focus. Uh, uh, that is quite incredible because uh, despite the fact that actually the C920, the more expensive Logitech camera that I was showing you before, the HD camera in uh, 1080p. Uh, it actually can get really close. It, it was a bit of an unfair thing that I showed you at the beginning of this video because actually uh, outside of zoom, when it's not in zoom, it can actually focus to about an inch and a half, which sounds fantastic. And of course, the images that you see here in this video are taken by the C920 uh, from a very close range, like up to four uh, five inches. And like I said, it can get even closer uh, up to an inch and a half. But if you, uh, and I'll show you that because I'll take a picture of my finger using the uh, C920 uh, and you can see uh, the absolute as uh, closest it can get. But with this, even though it's a, a, a smaller sensor, uh, less resolution, a uh, grainier, the light handling and the light management is, is a lot different. Um, you can get within uh, half an inch and the, there's a picture, here's a picture of my fingertip Essentially, I should never ever commit a crime because now my fingerprints are uh, out there in the universe. It is exact. It's precise. It is super, super macro. You can even see the beading and the sparkle of moisture on my fingertip. And I don't think I was sweating that much. So you can see to the degree that you can create a macro webcam um, uh uh, that can see things fantastically, which is actually great for a camera blogger who's taking cameras apart all the time, because uh, I've always had trouble getting in really tight and close uh, to show you what I'm doing, uh, you know, all the hacking and destroying that I'm doing. But now uh, with this modified manual focus C270 Logitech webcam, I can go live to video up close and tight. And so that is uh, one um, uh, use case uh, out there. Uh, there may be others. I haven't figured them out. If you want hyper close-ups when you're talking to someone in a webcam, uh, I can even take a picture of my eye, uh, like uh, a la um, a Blade Runner. It gets really intense how close the camera can get when it's manual focus. So uh, why don't you give it a try? And 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 uh, obviously it's it's kind of a funny situation because the faceplate and the plate underneath it have to be open to be able to manipulate it as a manual focus. But you know, I like stuff like that. Uh, maybe you don't, and maybe you would fix the focus uh, far closer than the standard three yards and then uh, elect to put back the plate and the top and then faceplate uh, back, back, back on. And that makes, you know, that's your choice. I just want to know how you would use a, a super, super, macro webcam. It'd be great to hear and you can just comment below. Uh, it's nice to do um, a video again about cameras and photography and I guess uh, web cinematography I guess is the best way to put it and it's great to reach out to you and I would love to to read your comments uh, but more importantly stay well. Thanks a lot and check out the shutter ghost click dot blogspot dot com. Thanks a lot. Bye.